Hello, not here. Welcome back to Grim Dawn. So, we've uh, arrived in the Pine Barrens and we have to uh, clear some of the local wildlife for them. Let's see if we can disable some quests. We're not we don't really care about the lost armaments. Blood harvest is also a bit too far away. Climate's chosen, we don't really care about. The Jagged Waste quest. Manticore Venom and the Pride of the Jagged Waste. We we care about that. So that's uh Let's have a, uh, a look around and see what we can find. Bit of luck, keep some of the rare crafting materials for ourselves. Like the manticore eyes and things like that. I believe that's one of the reasons you would actually go back to this area later on. That's to harvest things like manticore ice. Which are rather rare crafting materials that you don't really find in a lot of places. So, Rockarn. You are a witch doctor and therefore you must die. Perfectly logical. Ooh, Marco Drink. Don't find those very often. I think there are no more witch doctors in this group. So we just can kill everything else. Some briar thorns overhead. Okay, so that's the bend that goes over. For now, let's stay on, on this level and see what we can find. Which doctor? I can't do that. guys are pretty decent at blending in with the corpses. Also, you are not supposed to live. You're healing your bodies. I don't approve of that when you heal your bodies. That's not why I tried to kill them. Something is dealing more damage than normal. Also, these shooter guys actually do quite some damage. So, okay. So this is the the plateau where these guys were on. Uh, we got another Tome of Plagues. And that uh, leads to Miasma. Which is an occultist set that gives you plus one to occultist skills. Well, I suppose it's useful if you're playing an occultist. Which right now I'm not. I have the feeling the game is trying to tell me that I really, really, really should look into playing a pure caster. So maybe something like a occultist, arcanist hybrid might be in the future somewhere. Okay, 
so basically I have to kill a lot of these manticores in the hopes that one of them is gonna drop a venom gland good thing is this area has some of them it's not a lot you'll find way more grow balls and even briar thorns, there's a lot more of those. Level 36, that's pretty nice as well. Also, there seems to be a unique amongst them. Let's take out the non uniques first. Actually, we already nearly killed the unique. Oh yeah. One Manticore Eye, two Manticore Eye. So we can level. Let's uh, let's spend the points. So obviously plus one and execute. I'm actually curious about the blade spirit. So let's put one point in as well. And just uh, another one point into nightfall to complete our shadow strike. And it adds a lot of things. Five meter radius. So it's actually, this is an AOE. I didn't even realize it was an AOE. It does have 5% uh, the damage of both hands. So it's 10% of my to of my damage, you could say. Uh, points of extra cold damage, frost burn damage, life leech damage, and a chance to put him to sleep. That's a pretty nice way to opening a fight, I would say. So, blade spirits. I have to find some enemies. It's a summon. Like living blades or something. I have to see how much fun slash how useful it is. Okay. So that's a blade spirit. I just summon it in place. Okay. Yeah. Okay, they actually move. That's pretty cool. They follow me around like a puppy. For, well, seven seconds. They can erupt for quite some extra damage. Okay. It's yet another tool for the toolbox. Let's, uh, let's just treat it that way. And just keep one of them up during uh, fights. More manticores. Hello everybody, here. I have a blade spirit. That skill's not ready. And we got a poison gland here. Okay, we only needed one. I think this is just a quest item. Yeah. It's the eyes that are useful for the quest. These are a nut. We still have Mogara of the Jack uh, to slay in the jagged wastes over here. Not quite sure. I think it was also one of these uh, one of these guys, these manticores. There's a monstrosity. Basically just crisscrossing across the desert. Why do you grab these things, right? Yeah. I don't want to end up with an inventory full of these things. Actually, do they stack? In that case, it doesn't really matter. Okay, see, I can't even pick them up anymore. That's good. That's very good. They will keep dropping from these guys as long as I'm... I still have the quest. Hello there, the swift. Okay, let's uh, do some burning blades. The 
but skills not ready. Well, they did make some changes to this area. I, in my memory, there were less of these manticores. It was just completely swarming with briar thorns all the time. I suppose this is a good thing though. Makes it easier to do the quest, yeah, first of all. But also just easier to hunt for manticore eyes if you really need them. Actually, next time we do a fight, pay a bit more attention to how our teleport works and how much damage it actually inflicts to the entirety of the group. Hello there, Alpha. Hey, this is good. We teleport in. Some of them are asleep. So enemies that are asleep, they stay asleep until they get woken up by something that damages them. But given how much AOE damage I'm doing, I don't think the sleeping component is going to be very, very useful. At least not the way I play things. We got a bristly fur. Cameron, yes. And the core eye. Okay, so this is gonna probably lead to the next area, but not yet. Okay. Let's keep going then. I can't do that yet. Here, I have a spirit. Seems like a good idea to drop a blade spirit in here. And I'll just uh, turtle up. This little side path. I can't do that yet. Uh, question now is where the heck is Mogara hiding? Probably all the way in the last little bit of this area that I haven't explored. Uh, yes. Turn up a little bit. Ah, uh, see, this is Mogara. Skills not ready. So, Witch Doctor. Boom. I'm not a big fan of you, Witch Doctor. You heal the things I'm trying to kill. Really, really not happy with that. Killed, loot acquired. We can now teleport back in peace. Actually, we can walk on a little bit further. And then we can just portal back to camp and see what the next quest is they're gonna give us. So, this is just a uh, yeah. We go down here. That skill's not ready. So the blade spirits. Right. And we got them. Yeah. Let's portal back. Back to the Pine Barrens. I have a chat with the folks here. Hello. 
Any luck with the manticores? Well, I've got all the venom you need. Let's see, we got some more a reputation with the Black Legion. We got uh, manticore venom. Which is something we can use to augment a weapon. And we got a manticore longsword. It's a level 30 one-handed weapon. We'll have to compare that with our own to see how good it is. Well, I'll be... The gland is building with venom. Fine sample. As promised, a manticore blade of her own. Should serve you well against less friendly humans and hopefully Ketonians. Say, you seem to be quite capable. If you're interested in some coin, I've got a hunt I could use some assistance with. So what's that? That's this is, uh, this one's a hunt I've been personally struggling with. Local stories speak of an ancient thorner horror known as Old Bloodbriar. As it turns out, some of the stories are true, and Old Bloodbriar has been reported terrorizing the farmers and homesteads. I've managed to find some uh, some tracks, but I lost them out in the shaded basin to the south. Might be hiding out in one of the caves out there, but I can't be sure. If you hunt down Old Bloodbriar, I will see that my superiors back in the homestead hear about your contributions. Heck, I'll throw in a few, a few coins as some bounty. Well, let's do that. Next, how goes the hunt? Mogarba lies dead. Impressive. That piece put one of my men out of commission for a week. Your iron, as promised. Now, if you're willing, I've got more work for a capable hunter, such as yourself. So what do you need to do? What do you need me to do? You've proven yourself against Mogarba. I'll give you that. But there are far greater threats still out there. A great spider, the farmers call Angoliax the Gloom Weaver, has a lair in a cavern somewhere in the Shaded Basin to the south. Her spawn crawl out of the darkest places of the world in order to terrorize the locals and gather food for the ravenous queen. This must end. Destroy the spider queen and I will see that you are rewarded with iron bits. Uh, let's do that. I mean, we're gonna go cave diving anyway. Might as well make some extra money off of it. So how are we in terms of full backpacks? We're not really there in full terms of full backpacks. Okay. So the interesting thing is these are components and this is an augment. Actually I don't think I've actually ever tried to use these, but it might be that this is like a second form of enchantment that you apply to a weapon. Let's put it in our bag with other quest uh, items and such. So it has acid damage, chance to poison, more acid damage, more poison damage, uh, converts some damage to acid, extra damage to Ketonians, some offensive ability and some attack speed. So it's a... Okay, so uh, also it has less piercing, but it's still very, very fast. But it's lower level than what we currently got, so let's not go down. So, Manticore Eyes, they'll be useful. Yeah. Let's move back. Let's, uh, you know what? We're gonna call, call this one here. The next episode we're going to go to the shader base. And that way we just keep things nice and compartmentalized. So, I'm going to thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.